Hi, this is Zach Mir from Master Investor with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Tuesday the 3rd of February. I'm starting off with Concha where we see uh, an extension of this uh, rising trend channel from uh, the beginning of September. Uh, what's interesting here are the little probes that we had in November, December and also in January just below the four pence level. Uh, but all the while support coming in above the 200 day moving average at 3.18 pence. That's normally a bullish sign in the sense that uh, the, the bears are not uh, strong enough, so to speak, to uh, get the shares back down to the 200 day line, which is normally the minimum you'd expect. Um, as far as uh, what the strategy now may be from a technical perspective, uh, we see the stock just below the 50 day average at 4.97 pence. And uh, basically, we're looking for an end of day close above that to uh, unleash uh, a retest of November resistance of 7 pence plus uh, over the course of February and March. The RSI also looking quite robust here with this uh, bounce off this uh, uh, November support line as well around the 40 area and pushing back above neutral 50. Uh, so a 50 day moving average break would be helpful at Concha over the next few sessions. Uh, next up is um, Falkland uh, Oil and Gas, uh, where we see recovery here, obviously, in terms of the uh, oil price improving as well. But also uh, the technical interest here is this uh, quite uh, sharp clearance of the, of the 50 day moving average shown here in blue at 22.73 pence. That's now the stop loss on the bull argument or the recovery argument after the higher support here uh, towards 20 pence in January, uh, which is obviously a sort of a basic technical or charting uh, buy signal. If you're cautious on the shares, you wait for a further clearance of the 200-day uh, moving average of 26 pence. Obviously, that would change uh, the charting position to, to an even more positive one. Um, but it looks as though enough work has been done here with this uh, uh, W-shaped formation. And uh, we'll head back towards the top of the range and the top of this September price channel at 35 pence over the next one to two months. Uh, third stock today is uh, Plutus, where I covered this uh, at the end of January. Um, the shares are sort of looking uh, as though they're going to build up within a rising trend channel, uh, which has been in place uh, since uh, November. Uh, highlights here really the sort of uh, January, uh, higher, higher lows for January, but also the minor bear trap below the 50 day moving average uh, currently 0.72 pence. Uh, latest breakout uh, through 0.8 pence, uh, which was late January resistance, should point the stock towards the top of this channel at 1.2 pence over the next month or so. At this stage, any really back below the 50 day line would delay or, or at least or even cancel out uh, the bull argument given the slow build and the slow burn to the upside that we've seen over the past few weeks. Uh, finishing off with uh, Rock Hopper, another Falkland uh, play which may uh, be finally back in, in fashion in terms of the uh, uh, the charting or the price action here. Uh, the big plus today is really, or on, uh, to start the week, was the recovery of the old uh, 52.5 pence uh, December floor. Uh, that's a bear trap rebound that we've got here within this falling October price channel. Initial target here, probably um, the 50-day moving average of 64 pence. Uh, that, that area, the 50-day line area, was... Uh, was uh, the, the peak uh, in November. So we'd expect a similar push towards 65, maybe 70 pence over the near term. And uh, the stop loss actually can be as tight as an end of day close back below that December uh, floor at 52 and a half pence if you're concerned about money management. Uh, the other plus here is the extended October RSI uh, support line with these uh, three tests here uh, for January, which uh, should pro uh, add um, positive momentum to the situation. That's it from me. More updates at masterinvestor.co.uk.